The new commanders coming to Rise of Kingdoms, Chiok and Pakal II may have just had their skills leaked. What's going on guys? It's OmniArc. Today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be going over what appear to be the skills for these upcoming infantry commanders. Now, as with all leak content, this all comes with a grain of salt. This leak in particular, I'm only about 50-50 on. It depends on the source of these leaks, but for this leak in particular, I'm not 100% sure like I am with some of my previous leaks. And honestly, that's just because Lilith has been super tight-lipped with all the information surrounding upcoming content. But guys, if you enjoy this content and and you like to learn about the new content coming to the game early drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel it really helps out a ton okay let's jump right into the leaks first we're going to take a look at the skills for chiak jun young this is indeed an infantry commander it says the first skill we don't know the rage requirement deals direct damage with a damage factor of 1700 to a single target if the target has less than 30 percent of units remaining deal an additional damage factor of 300. so this is nice right we're punishing players who are caught in the open field who can't run away you melt them down a little bit quicker when they hit that 30 percent mark but we don't see any aoe on here which has typically been the meta lately so i'm not really sure how that's going to go but let's take a look at his second skill it's a passive that says infantry units led by this commander gain 40 percent increased attack deal five percent increased damage to cavalry but take five percent increased damage from archers so this is sort of standard right 40 percent of stats is relatively standard for the new legendaries in the game attack is the least exciting for me uh, we have a ton of attack in kvk tech in regular tech there's just there's so many ways to get attack points uh, in this game so 40 percent attack not that interesting but it is worth noting that guan yu is an absolute beast of a commander and he has 30 percent of infantry attack so this is one upping him and imagine pairing them together like <laughs> you have the most attack in the world your rallies are going to melt down the target but you're just going to get wrecked yourself so i don't know it's going to be interesting to see obviously the extra bonus damage to calves is nice it's going to be a solid counter to zhang yu that we do see and especially jadviga uh, garrisons the five percent increased damage from archers is really going to hurt in the open field though right you have ramsey's ysg or nebu they're absolutely going to destroy you at, because you don't have any tankiness here right it's all attack so that's going to be really interesting to see how this commander falls in terms of balance right is he going to be op because he deals so much damage or is he going to just be easy to swarm down right there's no aoe there's no tankiness on the second skill let's take a look at his third skill it says while on the map when troops led by this commander take skill damage they have a 20 percent chance to reduce that damage by 50 percent this effect can trigger at most once every four seconds so this is really interesting right does this mean that even if you take aoe from a target that you're not even attacking that you're not even involved in in battle with uh does that you know reduce the damage that you're taking from all skill damage for for that turn so including the target you're attacking or is it just a 20 percent chance of reducing that particular skill damage that you're taking really interesting stuff i think this is a really solid skill because again like i said before aoe is the meta right now and so there's just so many aoe commanders out there that if you have a one in five chance of cutting aoe damage by 50 percent um that's really huge that's going to be really good for open field fights however he's still very uh frail it seems like he seems sort of like a glass cannon right he's going to just crush a single target forever and that's it so is this really going to help him with the tankiness i'm not sure but let's keep reading the fourth skill says when troops led by this commander are attacked and only contain infantry units they have a 100 chance of gaining a stack each stack increases skill damage by 5% and lasts for 8 seconds, with the maximum number of stacks being 12. This can, effect can trigger at most once every 4 seconds. So that's interesting. It's not that often that we see a 100% chance of gaining a stack, right? Usually it's like 50% chance of gaining a stack with every normal attack. So again, I don't, these leaks are. Are questionable but if this is true that is crazy right that is super super crazy those stacks last a long time so if you're in a battle for a decent amount of time that means you're gonna have 60 percent increased skill damage which is absolutely crazy i'm really starting to see a solid pairing here with guan yu although again that pair will probably get melted so it'll be really interesting to see what players do with this commander if 
these are the actual skills but again 60 percent increased skill damage is even better than ysg who has the flat 50 percent now obviously the bonus of ysg is that you don't have to wait for those stacks to accumulate you just get 50 percent all the time whereas this you know you have to be in a little bit of a longer fight uh but i think with an eight second uh, timer on these guys it's going to happen really quickly right i mean if it's actually a 100 chance for every normal attack you receive then you're gonna quickly reach this in what uh 12 turns like i, I don't know it just seems like it, you're gonna hit that so fast anyway his expertise apparently will enhance his third skill so it says while on the map when troops led by this commander take skill damage they have a 20 percent chance to reduce the damage by 50 percent. so that's the same and deal damage with a damage factor of number of stacks times 50 to up to three targets in a fan shaped area this effect can trigger at most once every three seconds so that's changed right up here it's four seconds now it's three seconds so you're going to take even less skill damage right which is really nice that's a reduction of 25 percent so that sounds like it's not that much four seconds three seconds but it's a pretty big deal uh and of course the um you know the damage that you deal decreases by 15 percent for each additional target that is pretty uh that is that's pretty standard this person said i have no idea what the sentence means it, this is this is common amongst all aoe skill damage right so if you have 12 stacks which you will accumulate very quickly then that means you're dealing a 600 damage factor aoe to up to three targets so it's not a huge aoe and it will be reduced if you're hitting three targets um but uh, that's really nice and you can do this every three seconds that just sounds insane now of course it's only a 20 percent chance of it happening but in the open field where there's aoe happening all the time i feel like you're gonna have a chance for this to trigger almost every turn right which is going to be absolutely wild and murder balls um so you're going to be dealing a ton of damage factor to one target and additionally they're going to be taking an extra 600 damage factor um pretty often from this expertise and they're going to be taking an extra 300 damage factor under 30 percent uh and you're going to be dealing a little bit of aoe to everybody around you so this commander is looking like he's going to be an open field monster especially with that 60 percent increased skill damage like oh my god absolutely insane i wonder how the uh, city rallies are going to be right if you rally a single target with this it just seems absolutely monstrous so we'll have to wait and see how this commander plays out obviously i am infantry gang so i'm a little bit biased here okay i'm excited for new infantry commanders but again the downside of this commander is it looks like he's going to get swarmed down right a ton of attack here you're maybe gonna have to pair him with uh, i don't know maybe alex right alex adds a tiny bit of tankiness not that much so i don't know i'm really excited to see how this commander plays out so again these were for chiok jun young he looks like a uh, a korean commander korean infantry commander coming to the game this if i were to guess is a infantry skill based commander i just don't see him being anything other than that um there's no mention of garrison or conquering here so i imagine he will be a uh, versatility commander right I, I just i don't know we're not seeing too much uh in that in that department so i can't really predict the last one but again uh no signs of garrison no signs of rallying so take that uh, with a grain of salt anyway let's take a look at Pakal the second uh, this is really interesting this is really interesting guys if you haven't already dropped a thumbs up on the video helps a ton first skill for Pakal okay we don't know the rage requirement it says deals direct damage with a damage factor of 1500 to the target and gain a shield that lasts three seconds which can absorb a large amount of damage with damage factor of 500 so this is interesting right because most of the time that we see shields like on Alex like on uh, Martel they don't also have a damage factor involved which a little bit of tankiness a little bit of single target damage factor again no aoe so breaking away from that meta a little bit again the second skill is a passive skill that says infantry units led by this commander have 30 percent increased health that's huge and 25 percent increased march speed while commanding the garrison of a stronghold or your own city infantry units have 10 percent increased defense so this is where i start to question the legitimacy of these leaks and you're going to see why in the next skill however 30 percent increased health is insane i absolutely love that the most powerful some of the most powerful uh commanders in the infantry category have a massive health boost we're looking at charles martel we're looking at zenobia we're looking at constantine with that 40 percent on the second skill so health is the is the uh is the prime the prime cut of stake when it comes to infantry commanders that's what you want and that's what Pakal is going to give you his third skill says when attacking strongholds and cities infantry units led by this commander gain 
gain 40 percent increased attack when the troops led by this commander are attacked they have a 20 percent chance to remove all debuffs from troops led by this commander this effect can trigger at most once every 10 seconds so super long cooldown there right 40 percent increased attack when rallying so here's where we're we see some confliction right we have a rallying skill here and a garrison skill here now this garrison skill is only the second half of a passive skill that applies in all areas so to me this sounds like uh, like kind of they just threw this in there as just a little bit of an extra right my assumption is that this is going to be a conquering commander because again this for a garrison skill 10 percent defense for infantry that's not that's nothing right that's not that impressive um the rest of the skill is impressive right but as as far as garrison specific skills this is pretty weak right so this to me seems like a dedicated rallying skill right well you get 40 percent increased attack and you have a chance to remove all debuffs all debuffs 20 percent chance that's huge especially when you pair him with somebody like harold for example remember harold actually applies his own debuff right you lose five percent defense stacks up to 15 times so if you're able to pair him with somebody like pakal who has that chance uh, when attacked to remove those stacks from Harold, like that's going to be absolutely crazy and if he's swarmed it increases the probability of removing those stacks right because it says when troops are attacked not when you're dealing normal attack but when you are attacked right so that's really interesting as a rally combo that sounds like it's going to be absolutely devastating moving on his fourth skill says all damage taken is reduced by 10 percent while on the map if you're surrounded all damage taken will be additionally reduced with an additional reduction value of number of surrounding enemies times five percent with the upper limit of six so if you're surrounded by six targets that means you're taking 30 percent reduced damage plus the 10 percent that's already there so you're taking if you're surrounded by six targets you're taking 40 percent reduced damage like this to me if this is a rallying commander it's one that you just can't swarm down like you just can't do it right like how could you possibly do that especially if they have a herald on there who is you know getting more value by being swarmed right like it just sounds insane to me this commander seems very very powerful again i just can't comment on the legitimacy of this right because i don't know that just sounds too good right it sounds too good maybe i'm missing something uh but we've got the tankiness with the health you're getting a ton of attack when rallying you really can't be swarmed down because you get a ton of damage taken reduction and you're dealing some single target damage factor with a shield as if you needed a shield right like you you have so much damage taken reduction already now i will say that in a one-on-one -on -one fight um you're only taking damage taken reduction by 10 percent, right that's nothing crazy although richard's second skill reduces it by 15 percent and richard's really tanky right richard is really he doesn't deal damage but he's really tanky so this is almost like richard's second skill on a commander that actually deals damage so really interesting stuff here this is going to be really powerful if this is real his expertise apparently is a new skill that says when this commander leads a rally attack all damage dealt is increased by five percent after using an active skill, counterattack damage is increased by 20% and damage taken is reduced by 5% for two seconds. This can trigger once every five seconds. Uh, guys, I don't, I, this just seems too good, right? Like if this is real, this is rally meta. This is rally meta, right? I mean, it has to be. Like when you're leading a rally, not only you can't be swarmed, you gain 40% increased attack on top of your 30% increased health, and you have a 20% chance to remove all debuffs and your all damage is increased by 5% and counter attack damage is increased by 20% when using an active skill uh, like like uh, and damage taken reduction by 40% if you're surrounded I, I just I don't know guys I don't know this seems like if this is real this is rally meta 100% so that sounds insane to me um this seems like it's going to be an infantry conquering skill based commander maybe uh it could be attack based right because i mean we do have skill damage so there's a high probability that it's skill damage but um, we also have a shield here so you look at alex right alex has a shield he's an attack commander so i don't know uh exactly what we're gonna see with this commander but um definitely seems like a conquering commander obviously there's some garrison in here which again I don't know if this is legit or not, but uh, with that garrison in there, I don't think he's going to be a garrison commander because we've got um, multiple things here that talk about leading rallies. So again, infantry conquering commander, almost positive. Not sure about that last, if it's going to be skill or attack, but 
definitely not defense tree right it couldn't possibly be defense tree anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and again by the time we we get this information out there these commanders are probably going to be in the game maybe even by today right so like we actually might have the official information very very soon but it's fun to speculate i wanted to make this video so you guys kind of get an idea of what what people are thinking are going to be the skills for these commanders and again we will find out very very soon if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and as always you can download rise of kingdoms with my link in the description it's a free way to support the channel it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i've used it for years if you don't like it you can always uninstall it later but again it does support the channel and of course there are social media links down in the description you can follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below and finally comment what you think about these do you think these are real do you think these are fake if they are real what do you think is going to be the case are these are these infantry meta again are we meta for garrison and rallies now like what's the deal what's going on look do you love infantry huh anyway guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni archive we'll talk to you guys again soon peace